Warning, the acts you are about to see have been designed, rehearsed, and will be performed live by highly trained, experienced individuals. Many of these acts are extremely dangerous. Under no circumstances should they be tried by viewers at any time. This is Phenomenon. We're live, and tonight we begin our journey into the world of the unexplained. Over the next hour, incredible things will happen. You, America, are about to witness many shocking and inexplicable events that will make you question your senses and ask, is it real or is it simply beyond belief? Two masters of the mind. Ten extraordinary talents. But only one can become the phenomenon. Welcome to Phenomenon. We've searched the world to bring you 10 astonishing individuals who will appear to make the impossible possible. Some claim to be able to see into the future and defy the laws of gravity, while others say they are able to defy death. One says he can actually speak to those who are no longer with us. Tonight, you'll debate and decide who has the power to amaze, shock, and become the phenomenon. Casting a critical eye over our competition each week are two legendary masters of the mind, both phenomenons in their own right, Chris Angel and Uri Geller. For nearly 40 years, Uri Geller has mesmerized the world with his astonishing abilities. From bending metal with his mind to stopping clocks on command, Stop! to incredible acts of telepathy. Uri Geller paved the way for generations of mentalists. In the 1970s, a series of television appearances made Uri an international sensation. But his fame was not without controversy. He is really suspicious, you know. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with you. I don't mean to be here, right? I really don't. A monologue doesn't work every night either. No. But each time, Uri Geller has bounced back stronger than before. And now, the original phenomenon is ready to be blown away. Are you ready? For more than a decade, Chris Angel's loyal fans have watched in both terror and awe as the modern-day Houdini has redefined mysticism. A born performer, the Long Island native's cool charm and endless charisma found a new medium in 2005 with the premiere of his mega-hit show, Chris Angel, Mind Freak. For three seasons, millions have watched as Chris makes the seemingly impossible possible. His demonstrations are beyond explanation, baffling even the savviest of viewers. Are you ready? Please welcome from A&E's Mind Freak, Chris Angel and the mystifying Uri Gallup. Chris, Uri, both of you are already established in your own fields. Chris, what are you looking for in the next phenomenon? Well, I got to tell you, we've done over 900 demonstrations each and every week on my Mind Freak show. More hours of magic than any magician in U.S. primetime history. I'm here to get my mind blown. I want to see something that I've never even thought of before, and I'm hoping to see that right here on Phenomenon. Fingers crossed. Uri? I want to see here the most amazing act in the world. I want to be mesmerized. I want to be astonished. I want to see something that I've never seen before. So, we have our masters. Also here tonight, our special guests. Please welcome supermodel Rachel Hunter, from The Tonight Show, Ross Matthews, and actress Carmen Alexa. Tonight, America, 
You will be voting for the individual who can astound you with their mental skills. Everything you see on this stage will be happening live. A show like this has never been attempted before. There will be no retakes, no second chances, and absolutely no camera tricks. What's more, our celebrities have not rehearsed with any of our competitors. Carmen, is this true? That is true, yes. At stake is a quarter of a million dollar prize, and tonight, anything could happen. I'm definitely keeping an open mind for our first potential phenomenon. He's a 28-year-old who hopes to make an extraordinary connection with two of our celebrities. Meet Ehud Segev. Since I was a very young boy, I was always so intrigued by the supernatural. The strongest power we have, maybe that's the sixth sense, the hidden sixth sense. When I was 17 years old, I woke up in the middle of the night crying. I had a dream that my brother was killed. And 10 years later, I get this knock on the door. And there are two guys standing in that door. And I said, your brother was killed. Everything that happens in my life, since the moment he went away, is controlled by him. I'm not alone anymore. Everywhere I go, I have my brother with me. The hidden sixth sense is our imagination. Our first performance this evening requires maximum concentration. I'd like to ask the audience to please remain silent. Ehud Segev. Good evening, everybody. My name is Ehud Segev, and since this is a phenomenal show, I'm about to try and show you something truly phenomenal. In fact, I would like to ask two of our guests, um, Ross and Carmen, to join me on stage. Will, will you join me? Please come here. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, let me help you here. Hello. Carmen, you can stand right here. And Ross, you can stand right here. Okay. Perfect. In a second, Carmen, yes. I'm about to touch you. <laughs> Don't worry. Everybody's watching us. So you're safe. Watch this. I'll ask you to close your eyes and just concentrate on my tiny little touch. Let's try it. Close your eyes and just concentrate on this tiny little touch. Carmen, did you feel where I was sliding my finger? A little bit? <laughs> just a tiny little bit? Um, yeah, I did. I did, yes. Where? Can you show us where? Right there. Right about there. Yeah. Okay. Let's try taking it to another step, okay? Keep your eyes closed. Make sure you cannot see anything. Just concentrate on this tiny little tickle, okay? Oh, I can definitely see that little smile over there. You definitely felt a tiny little tickle, did you? Yes. Can you show everybody where you felt it? Underneath my chin. That's exactly where I tickle you. In fact, Carmen, what I sense is that the connection between you and Ross just stepped to a whole new level. <laughs> so now, I'm about to ask Ross to touch you. Okay? Make sure your eyes are completely closed. Simply concentrate on his touch. Carmen, did you feel that tiny little touch before? I did, yes. Can you please show everybody where you felt it? My nose. Show us where. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Oh my, I just, I, I'm telling you, you have such a strong connection with Ross, I will check it out after the show. <laughs> Wait, you know what? Let me tell you one thing. This was all physical touches. We're going to try and see if touches is also a metaphysical thing. I know it's going to sound crazy, but I want you to imagine as if someone is touching you. Don't tell us nothing, just really try to imagine. No one's there, no one's touching you, just you concentrating on somewhere just touching you, something in your imagination, and I want to be able to see that imagination as it happens.